Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an FTP server in Windows 7, create a user account, and access your FTP from inside of your network and outside of your network. So let's begin. Click on Start, and then type Run. And click on the Run program. Here, type CMD and click OK. It's going to open the command prompt. Here, type IP config and press Enter. And this here is your IP address. Keep it in mind or write it down. Now, I'm going to close here and I'm gonna create in my desktop a folder that my FTP users are going to be accessing via the FTP site. I'm gonna name this avoid errors and now we are ready to install IIS so click on start then click on control panel then click on programs and features and click on turn Windows features on or off and then look for Internet Information Services check mark that and then expand expand FTP server and now put a check mark on FTP server FTP extensibility FTP service web management tools and world wide web services and then click OK once IIS is installed go to control panel home and then click on administrative tools and then click on internet information services IIS manager Now this is your root, your computer, expand that, then expand site, and this here is your default FTP site. So we're going to create a new one. I'm going to right click site, click add FTP site. Here name your site. and now under physical path look for the folder that you're going to be sharing with the users via FTP I created mine on my desktop here select it and click OK perfect now click next under IP address click on the drop down and select the IP address of the computer perfect now I'm going to select no secure socket layer for tutorial purposes now I don't recommend you to do that you should allow secure socket layer and click next under authentication I'm going to select basic that means you need username and password under allow access to click on the drop down and select specified users now here this is a Windows user for example this here is me so you need to type the uh, Windows username Miguel in this case and then give appropriate permissions and now click finish perfect we have created the uh, new FTP site before we access our FTP we need to configure the firewall so click on start and then click on control panel and then click on F Windows firewall and here go to allow programs or feature throughout Windows firewall and look for FTP server put a check mark there 
and then make sure both check mark private and public are checked and then click OK now in my case I'm going to turn my Windows firewall off because I don't want any issues while I'm doing this uh, video tutorial so click on turn Windows firewall on or off and then click turn off window firewall turn off Windows firewall and then click OK perfect now I'm going to create a user that is going to access my FTP so click on start then click on control panel then click on users user accounts then click on manage another account then create a new account and here you can create a user I'm gonna name this guy win7 I'm gonna make an, an administrator then uh, click on create account perfect now I'm going to double click on this guy and then create a password just a simple password here once you're done with that click on create password now we created a password for the user now close here and in your IIS go to your newly created FTP site and then go to FTP authorization rules and here right click and click on add allow rule and select specified user users I'm sorry and then type the name of the user we just created then give this guy permission to read or write or read and write and click OK perfect now we're going to access this uh, FTP locally now in the address bar type FTP colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address of the computer and click enter now type the username and password for that user we just created win7 and then his password click OK and there we go I don't have anything inside that folder that's why nothing shows up but we have access to that uh, folder now to access this from outside of our network we need to configure the router to enable port 21 so I'm using a Linksys router to log into my router is 192.168.1.1 in the address bar and click enter type the username and password once you have logged in go to applications and gaming and here in the application name select FTP port 21 it'll automatic select it and then the IP address of the computer 109 we have used the IP address several times and then save your settings that's why it's very important to for you to write it down from the very beginning and then click continue now on Google type what is my IP and it will give you your external IP address write it down and then place it in the address bar FTP colon forward slash forward slash and the external IP address and then click enter and here type the username and password of the user we just created then click OK if you're using different router you just gotta keep in mind you have to enable FTP port 21 and the IP address of the computer where you are hosting your FTP site 
If this video tutorial was any help, please rate, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.